you guys look for cheap, reliable MT, check out GoDa.com. Use code LegendaryEA. If you guys are struggling for my team, not getting the cards that you want, go to GoDa.com. Use code LegendaryEA and buy some MT, y'all. Check them out. They're cheap and reliable. And yo, let's get on to the video. All right, so what is up, y'all? It's Legendary EA back for episode two of the Nets My Gym. As you guys can see, we are at the bottom of the power because we've been taking L's left and right. Right, and yo, <laughs> I'm so proud of my team. But yeah, I'm still not the worst GM. It's actually still the, the, the 76ers. It's just pretty crazy. So looking at our team stats, Daddy Young has been balling out. And the owner wants us to trade Gerald Henderson, so we go out and do that. But anyways, you guys, so we are going to be doing a rebrand. I took the poll from the video yesterday, and the number one voted thing was to relocate to New Jersey. And number two was to rebrand the team in Brooklyn. So this is what I was going to do. I was all for willing to move the team to, to New Jersey, but turns out if we move there right now, we have no money to. And it's weird because even though the, the Nets are trash, they have so much money, but yet they only gave us like $8 million. No, not really. It was like $6 million to relocate. If you guys have ever tried to relocate the team, you guys know that is nothing. That's nothing. Like, he, he, if you use that money, you probably have like a rating of 2.2. So we are gonna stay here in Brooklyn for a couple of seasons, and then after that, we will relocate to New Jersey. Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below. I was honestly feeling like bringing back the New Jersey Nets, but yo, 2K wanted a hoe. But yo, let me know what you guys think about the court and the uniforms in the comment section below. I mean, as far as the uniforms goes. The Brooklyn Nets already have pretty basic, like probably, mm, yeah, they have the most basic uniforms I've seen in the NBA, like ever. Like it's literally just black and white with Brooklyn on it. Uh, so let me know what you guys feel about our our jerseys and our court in the comment section below, y'all. In this video, as you guys can see, this is an off season, and we do trade Thaddeus Young in this episode, but I'll wait for that to come up on the screen. But while I have you guys here, uh, let me know who you guys think that I should draft. Uh, we're going to have a pretty good chance at having the number one overall pick. So let me know who we should draft. A lot of people are going to say Ben Simmons. I don't want Ben Simmons. I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. I'm not, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of, of Ben Simmons in 2K. Uh, he's a great player in real life, of course. But I feel like everybody has Ben Simmons. Everybody goes after Ben Simmons. People go after Scott Lavasser. So... This is a, still a pretty known guy, but I am going to be going after Brandon Ingram. I think he has all the stuff that we need. I mean, he can shoot, he can score, he's athletic. What's not to like about this dude? Like, So that's the number one dude on our draft board. Another dude would be Isaiah Briscoe. And uh, yeah, Isaiah Briscoe, he's just, he's, just, he's just a beast. And then number three is Tyler Eulis. I know he's like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, but those are the three guys that we are really going to be targeting. We have three first round picks. So if we can get those three guys, we would be set. We would just be set. But yo, since we're staying in, in Brooklyn, we have the best arena probably in the whole NBA. So going back to uh, trading Thaddeus and Young, the Hawks offer us Jeff Teague and Lamar Patterson. For Thaddeus Young and Wayne Ellington, Wayne Ellington, and yo, at first I was like, bruh, bruh, <laughs> bruh, I don't know. I told y'all I wanted to keep Thaddeus Young, but after going back and forth, I said, yo, if we can get a point guard right now, why not? We debated between Mike Connolly and Jeff Teague, but in the end, we ultimately went with the Jeff Teague trade. So Jeff Teague, welcome to the Brooklyn Nets. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what I did there. Jeff Teague. I know I didn't want to trade that Young because he's so young, but I just thought that, yo, it all starts with our point guard. If we can, whoa, the Warriors got DeAndre Jordan. That's, that's not even fair. But it all starts with our point guard, man. If we can get Brandon Ingram and get Jeff T, I mean, this team is just heading in the right direction. Not towards NBA championship contention yet, but we are heading in the right direction. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section below. And the reason I chose him over Mike Conley He's younger. He has a better three-point shot. The passing, Mike Conley's passing is on a little bit better stats-wise than 2K. So, yo, Cliff Anderson actually made second team on rookie. That actually surprised me. He, he must have won off. <clears throat> but, yo, towards the end of the season, we obviously barely won 10 games. I think we won, like, 11 games, and we lost all the rest of them. So, we were... We're pretty mediocre. We're the worst team in the NBA. But the owner comes at us saying, trade Jeff Teague. 
he says traded Jeff Teague, and I'm like, bro, no, I'm, I'm not about to do that. He, he honestly told me to trade Jeff Teague because he was lowering the, the morale. Well, of course, his morale's gonna be low because we're losing games, and it's on purpose, but yo, I can't get rid of Jeff Teague. Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments below. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And I'm sorry to the, to the people who are fans of the Lakers, my GM, but that series might not even be over, to be honest, because I might want to go back to it, and if, and if I can resurrect that thing and fix all my mistakes, that would be cool. But we're actually losing money, losing the money that we had last season. So, I mean, I don't know how this is going to go and play out for next season, but I'm not going to guarantee us even making the playoffs this coming season, but I do guarantee an improvement. I want to make this series as fun as possible, which means we cannot get too good too fast. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Nets My Gym, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, y'all.